Tommy and Heather need to sell their country house quickly. I'm pregnant, so we want to sell now more than ever. But a multitude of unfinished DIY projects. What yes. were they thinking? A mismatched decor are turning potential buyers away. Somebody's got to do all that work. And at this price range, I, it can't be me. I'm here to help. You've got a lot of furniture in here. It makes the room half the size. With a budget of $5,000 and some smart design and staging tips, I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. That is beautiful. Walter Bro, South Carolina is known for its beautiful properties and traditional rural lifestyle. Famous for fishing and hunting, as well as its close proximity to metropolitan areas, it's ideal for buyers looking for all that country living has to offer. But this 3,000 square foot, three bedroom, three bath house, listed at $265,000, has been on the market for an incredible three years. Big houses on big lots have tremendous appeal to potential buyers, but rural buyers are fewer and farther between. So your house has to be picture perfect and complete. And I think there's some unfinished business here. Tommy and Heather and their three-year-old daughter, Ava, love living in the country. But their dream of buying a new home has come to a standstill. I would like to move on, especially because I didn't start out in this house, so I would like to have a house where I get to pick everything inside. My mother helped uh, a lot with the initial decoration. It's uh, kind of... Tacky. Yeah, tacky. And Tommy's mother's not just their decorator, she's their real estate agent too. Tommy and Heather need to declutter. They need to straighten out the closets. They need to do some painting, some vivid colors. She sometimes gives you her opinion and you don't really want it. Tommy and Heather have just found out some news that's really put on the pressure. I'm pregnant, so now that we found out our family's growing, we want to sell more than ever. This house has great curb appeal. Sweeping drive, manicured plants, beautiful porch. And that means one thing, the problems are on the inside. So your house has been on the market for three years, which must be just so stressful. So I think the best thing is if you show me around and then I can get to grips with what the problems are and then we can move on from there. Okay. So this room is nice and neutral. The fireplace is kind of main focal point, but we didn't get around to kind of finishing up the way we wanted to. Right, so, so. are you a man who fin starts a job and sometimes doesn't finish it? His dad <laughs> finishes all his projects. Oh. <laughs> That's a problem, I think, for buyers, because if they see unfinished DIY, they're like, if they didn't finish that, what else haven't they finished? Aside from the fireplace, the living room shows well, so it's on to the dining room. It's quite funny, that room's quite modern, and then this room is very traditional. His mom helped him decorate. I got well, an A for effort, but... An a, a for effort? I don't know about for design. No, it's, it's really great to have a formal dining room. Buyers love them. It's, it's a great size, and it leads straight onto the kitchen. What a nice big kitchen. The floors are very smart. We redid those about four years ago. It's funny because this doesn't seem to match. This is quite so modern with the, the gunmetal gray, and then you've got the pine. We did try to change the handles, though. I see, you've changed yeah. one. Well, well, this was part of his mother's idea, the shells. I like this design. Did you only buy two handles? So basically, it's not just Tommy who doesn't finish a project. Is that the case? Ooh. I believe that would be the case. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> wow, is there a reason why you have the biggest safe I've ever seen in my life in your sitting room? That's my safe. Do you have the crown jewels in there? <laughs> no, because the thing is, is you've got a lot of furniture in here. Do you know what that does? It makes the room half the size. What is this? This looks like a that weapon of be, torture. That would be Heather's. And it looks like it gets a lot of action. It does. <laughs> Look at it, it's all the stuff. Well, why is it here? You try to keep the downstairs clean, so you just take it upstairs. That was, you know, kind of the theory. This is the bathroom. This is, it is the bathroom, but think about this. All the blue, it's like when you're in the shower, it's like you're in the ocean. The bathroom upstairs was definitely before I got here because I hate fish. More unfinished DIY? Well, that is from Heather. 
Let's see, she bought the wallpaper remover, never used it. She took down the cabinet and tore half the wall down and never fixed it. And there's also a scary huge hole in the ceiling. Um, must have <laughs> fallen overnight at some point. Wow, so I can see that pink from here. Holy moly. This is very pink. I mean, it's like indigestion medicine pink. This was originally our nursery. Yeah. When we designed the room, it was all about, you know, a little girl. But now it does seem a little bright. And look, see, smoke alarm hanging from the ceiling. But it does work, so that's the problem. Well, I'm sure that will really reassure the buyers. <laughs> this house is fantastic. I just wanted to say it's the most beautiful house from the outside. But there's these unfinished jobs, and there's some slightly dodgy decor. So I think we need to make this house more about you and less about your mother-in-law. Sounds good to me. Excellent, let's get started. They're not making the most of their space. And the problem is, buyers are picky. The rural property market's taken a kicking, and buyers want a turnkey ready property. Houses in this neighborhood sell between $207,000 and $240,000. At $265,000, Heather and Tommy's price is high. Still, realtor Audrey thinks this house should have sold. This the nicest neighborhood, or one of the nicest neighborhoods in the area, and it's got two lots. I've asked Audrey to set up an open house. Then I can report back to Tommy and Heather what the buyers are really saying. There's like no room in here with this huge furniture. You're right, there's too much furniture in this room. This is way too big. I really don't like this dark burgundy. There's um, maintenance that has to be done in the house. What yes. were they thinking with that bathroom? Oh, that's a home improvement project right there. Oh. It's not something that you just wait till it all falls apart. Unfortunately, Tommy's not one to do it. And Heather is not one to stand behind and push him. I don't think this is the one for my family. No. Now it's time to break the news to Tommy and Heather. Kitchen. I uh, loved the countertop, weren't so sure about the cupboards. But then they came in here and they did comment on the two-tone paint job. Which I know you did, Heather. <laughs> My hard work. <laughs> I think the biggest bone of contention with buyers... The bathroom. The bathroom. They, I think, to quote exactly, was like, this looks like a home-done project. And it was. And it was. <laughs> When buyers are looking around and they see lots of little things, they're totaling up in their head that they think it's going to cost more than it actually is. At that point, they said, this house is going to need quite a lot of money, which I disagree. But I think it's all cosmetic. It's all simple things. You've got to be super competitive, and your house has to look as good as it possibly can. And, you know, you're, you seem to be, like, on board with that. I am. Good. When you're selling your house, you don't need to invest in expensive upgrades. With a little bit of money well spent will definitely help you achieve your asking price and a quicker sale. For this makeover, we have a total budget of $5,000 to bring some of that beautiful country feeling in. First, we're starting in the dining room. This two-toned room feels dated and cramped. We'll get rid of the burgundy paint, repurpose the hutch, add a contemporary light fixture and a space-expanding mirror. The kitchen cupboards are in great shape, but they do clash with the new countertop. I'm giving it a quick style update by adding a tile backsplash, painting the cabinet doors, and replacing the hardware. The living room's layout is awkward. It looks smaller and darker than it really is. We'll remove the giant television and safe, reposition the furniture, and add warmth with coordinating accents. This bedroom has great bones and a beautiful bed, but buyers can't see past the shocking pink and the gym equipment. We'll paint the walls, replace the equipment and add matching side tables and lamps. A seating area and new window treatments will draw focus to the lovely view outside. Last but not least, we are going to totally defish this bathroom. So we've got the fairies. Do you think they can go in? Yeah! Yeah, excellent. Wow. Loud. That was loud. That is a good plan. Should we do it together? If you can get your children involved and make decluttering a positive experience, they're much more likely to keep the house tidy later on during showing. I will be happy. Ava and I are making great progress downstairs. Upstairs, it's a different story. Oh, I've been looking for this, actually. That's all my stuff. 
It blows my mind that he keeps from high school. I mean, seriously, this is not a bachelor pad anymore. He had old trophies and posters for crying out loud. I mean, who keeps posters for 15 years? Well, good job, honey. I'm not sure if Heather and Tommy are taking this as seriously as I'd like. That's why I'm sending them to a comparable house for a reality check. Just under 1,700 square feet, this three-bedroom, two-bath house listed for $135,000 sold in five months. Oh, wow. wow. It's nice and bright in here. Yeah. Nice. That's an open kitchen. I like the color of the cabinets. Very fresh looking. All the handles seem to match. Doesn't feel cluttered, claustrophobic. Nice bedroom here. It's nice and open. It doesn't make you feel like you have a stomach ache. They don't have a bunch of junk. Nice big baseboards. Mm -hmm. Crown molding's nice. I love this. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. In the shower. Yeah, I like that built in. I can definitely see where we need to do some improvement. I would have to agree with you on this one. I didn't measure the rooms, but you know you don't need to. It feels so so large. It's move-in ready. There's no unused gym equipment in the room. It's nice and open. So I could see how, you know, it sold quickly. Yeah, it's depressing too. <laughs> depressing. <laughs> While Tommy and Heather have been stealing tricks from the competition, work has been well underway back at the house. Lucky for them, we've been doing the really heavy lifting. Hey guys. Hi. What do you think of the comparable house? It's very fresh, very open. Mm -hmm. Clean, modern. Yes. Did it have an aquarium-based bathroom? No fish. Was there mismatched furniture and two tones? No. No. But um, what do you think made it sellable? It's moving ready. So that's what we want buyers to feel here. They can see themselves in the in the space. They're moving ready. They don't have to do any work. So do you think you've learned something from the comparable house? We have. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you're ready to get started? Yes. We're ready. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to dump the rest of this clutter. And would you go and get changed and we can start work? All, All right. right. You know when we had the open house? All the buyers said they loved the solid surface. It's definitely in right now, for sure. But not so keen on the cupboard. Not so much, no. no. Well, you know what? The good thing about this is it's an easy fix. Yeah. I mean, I like the detail. We won't change that, but we are going to paint them. See, the problem is, is there's no point doing an upgrade on the countertops and then not going in for the cupboards. You have it's to like finish it. an unfinished job. There's quite a few of those in this for house. For sure. Just because you're living in the country doesn't mean you want a dated farmhouse look. I think a lot of people in this area are looking for a more sleek and modern look, and that's what we're giving them. The cabinets and breakfast bar are solid wood, so first it's important to give them a light sand and prime before you paint. We've rented a paint sprayer to give the covers an even coat, because it's the best way to get that factory finish. There's no need to replace dated cabinets if they're in good condition. A coat of paint can cost as little as $100 and leaves lots of room in the budget for the rest of the house. While we wait for the cupboards to dry, Dave has a job for Tommy. So what are we doing here today? You have a great chair rail on the wall, you have a great baseboard, now we're just gonna fill in the gap with these applied moldings. So we're gonna create wainscoting in your dining room. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I've heard of wainscoting. Potato, potato, wainscoting, wainscoting. As long as it looks good, who cares what you call it. You've used the chop saw before? I have. Okay, well, as a reminder, it's your handle. Yes. It's your blade. Blade. This is wood. Let's cut it. Wainscoting not only adds visual appeal to a formal dining room, it's also practical, as it protects the walls against nicks and scuffs. Really neat process uh, when you see it. Kind of life-changing. Not really, but it was cool. So, the key to this gun is speed. We'll line this up, hold it in place, push the gun in, pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. It looks good, good eh? Deal. Yeah. For sure. We'll just do the same thing all around the room, paint it up. This is going to look amazing. Working with David was uh, was pretty cool. Yeah, man, that nail gun is awesome, isn't it? So, Heather, have you ever tiled before? No, but I hope you have. I have these exact tiles on my house at home, and the point of backsplashes are they protect the walls because you don't get oil or water, they're easy to clean. So, I have got my trowel, 
Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a scoop of adhesive and then just put the adhesive onto the wall and then apply the tiles after that. And then you just leave a little bit of space there to put the grout. So do you want to try it? Sure. So there's the trowel. Get tiling. The subway tiles look so classic, they're timeless, and they're going to make such a big difference. It's just going to look elegant and modern and up-to-date, and that's what buyers are looking for. It's been a long day, so we're saying goodbye to Tommy and Heather to keep the final results a surprise. See you all later. Have fun. Back to work. Let's go. Now it's time to let the pros finish up the tricky bits in the kitchen and get stuck in upstairs. We took down the wallpaper in here because wallpaper doesn't last in bathrooms because the moisture in the air makes it peel. With the major projects almost complete, all that's left is the finishing touches. Replacing an outdated light fixture is a great way to instantly contemporise the space. This is a traditional dining room, but the colours and the accessories give it a really modern feel. Buyers thought this kitchen looked old, so we painted the cupboards, put new handles on and created a really chic backsplash. Make sure your countertops are completely clutter-free. Not only will they be easy to clean for showings, but it also makes room for a few splashes of colour. Neutral colours also help lighten and brighten a space. But to keep the room from looking bland, add throw pillows in organic patterns. This was not a relaxing space when it was bright pink. We've taken out the gym equipment and we've painted over the bubblegum pink. Bedrooms should be calming spaces that you want to retreat to, and you get that look by sticking to pale colours. In the bathroom, invest in new hand towels and a fresh shower curtain. Use them strictly when you have showings. Come on in. Wow. Isn't it fantastic? It is. It's beautiful. Before, this two-toned space felt dated and cramped. Now it's a big, bright, welcoming dining area. I love that. It doesn't even look like our dining room. Very nice. You noticed this lovely wainscoting there? Yeah, I did. I did. Yes, you did. beautiful, and you did something without your daddy. <laughs> the wainscoting is quite traditional, mm -hmm. but because it's painted this painted pale colours, don't you think it looks much more modern? Oh, yeah. So what do you think buyers will think of the dining room now? They'd be crazy not to like it. Yeah. Do you recognise your hutch? Yeah. It looks a lot better like this. It was too big for the space before. It's all about, you know, making rooms feel bigger. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't even look like the same kitchen. Wow. That is beautiful. Very nice. The tiling that you tiled. I know. I feel kind of handy now. She did this. She did that. But I, I'm very, very proud of her um, for getting her hands dirty. Mm -hmm. And look. Matching mm -hmm. handles. Yeah. And Matching they're all handles. There. They're all there. And here we are. Your brand new eating kitchen area. I love that. Yeah. This is for every day. Yes. Is it just me, or does this room feel twice as wide? A lot bigger. Before, you had the sofa like this, mm -hmm. so it sort of cut up the room. It's still the same bits of furniture, but we just by moving them around, we've opened up the room. It does feel brighter, it feels bigger. I think taking out the safe was a, was a big thing, but um, that is much prettier. Come on in. Oh, wow. Very, very nice. That's beautiful. Quite personally, I kind of enjoyed swimming in the ocean while you're taking a shower, but this would appeal to more buyers. Buyers don't really like peeling wallpaper. Mm. It's quite funny, I was a bit worried at first because the fish tile really didn't want to move, it was stuck to the wall, so you had to cut them all out and replace it with drywall. But now you've got this really nice finish. This is a selling point now rather than negative. When you're selling your house, that's what you've got to do. You've got to not give the buyers any excuse to either lowball you on the price or just not buy. Now, anyway, I want to show you the what was formerly known as the pink gym. Welcome to your new guest bedroom. Oh my gosh, completely different. 
I don't think buyers could see past the pink and the gym equipment. This is a really, really nice grown-up guest bedroom now. Yes, it's very warm, very inviting. I couldn't be happier. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. It looks completely different. Mm -hmm. When we walked in, I was completely speechless. I, it doesn't even look like my house. I'd have to say that my favorite room would be probably the formal dining room. I'm a big fan of the, of the Wayne's coating. It makes it feel a lot more elegant. It makes me more optimistic that we can sell the house. But the most important thing is not whether in some ways you like it, it's whether buyers like it. Absolutely. And I think this house now ticks all the boxes. Great curb appeal, a finished inside, modern kitchen and fantastic big bedrooms. Those are all things that buyers are looking for and you've got them here. It's a complete package. I agree. You agree. So what we need to do now is get them buyers in. Oh, so. right, that's good. Sounds good. And potential buyers are loving it. It is wonderful. Completely different house. The dining room just really pops. It is so fresh and inviting. I love the lighter colors. Love the wainscoting. Love the seating area upstairs. Love that new bathroom. Can't believe it's the same one. Oh my gosh, the kitchen looks so much nicer now. And just adding that backsplash makes it look polished. Everything is fresh, beautiful. Absolutely love it. And now it makes sense to buy it. This whole experience is right up Heather's alley. She really does like everything done. There's no DIY projects that need to be finished, and it's just, it's fresh, it's new, and it's modern. It's beautiful. I definitely plan on taking some of those ideas and putting them in a new house. I don't know, it may make it hard for her to move out. Tommy thinks he's funny. 